everyone welcome back to take you forward so stocks deep on stocks but the first problem we did one transaction only in the second problem we did as many infinite transactions and the third problem we did two transactions in the fourth problem we are just allowed to do at most k transactions yes so by the way if you're watching this video please make sure you go and watch stock 1 stock 2 stock 3 and then come across and watch stock 4 so if you're allowed at most k transactions so the stock 3 problem that we did was allowing us at most two transactions if you remember well enough it was allowing us at most two transactions so can i actually uh, copy paste the same code can i uh, so let's check out if i can copy paste the same code or not so here i go uh, to the solution uh, of the stock uh, three problem and what i'll do is i'll just copy paste the same portion of the code okay let's copy paste the same portion of the code let's come back uh, over here so over here the capacity they're saying that they will be giving you at most k transactions the problem is going to be straight away similar but what they're saying you is hey listen you're just allowed to perform two transactions okay can be three not more than that like for an example i say okay buy sell buy sell four profit three profit in total of seven profit so if they were allowing three transactions then you could have done any any different transactions as well but over here it's not possible like this is the problem k can be anything in the previous questions it uh, in the previous uh, stock three question k at max uh, at max was two over here they're saying k can be anything so instead of two i've been said that it can be anything so over here if it can be anything this is the size of the k now definitely know this is the size of the k this is the size of the k same question we just change it to uh, something like this and over here i know this will be instead of two it will be three now if i run it will it run let's quickly have a check yeah it is if i submit will it indeed it does if you carefully see uh, it will let's wait it is it is submitted same question we just modulated it to k instead of two transactions it's a similar question right so guys, if you remember, in the previous question, we, uh, stock three, we did uh, discuss about uh, another possible uh, variation, uh, like another possible solution, where we said that we will be maintaining an index, and then we will be saying transaction number. Remember? Where we said that the transaction number will be from 0, 1, 2, 3. In case of, if at most, two transactions were allowed. Like this would be the buy sell first transaction, then the other one will be buy sell the second portion of transaction so if i am looking to code the same thing if you remember this was the code that uh, we wrote where we said that hey listen this is index this is transaction this is index this is transaction you are given an index and transaction to be this and then if it is an even it's a buy because you did see that at even transaction you were buying so if it's even you just give it to the market and you move with the next transaction or you say i'm not doing anything so you move to the next without having anything on the current transaction so what i can say is if i try to write this and uh, let's try to optimize this uh, because we did it in the previous way but we did not code it so let's quickly uh, so let's quickly uh, take this and uh, try to actually uh, solve this because we did it uh, using the other way but this method we did not try so we are having index and we are having the transaction number you can say tran number and we know we will be having a vector of int uh, let's quickly uh, do this of prices we will have an n we will have a k right and we know one thing for sure if the index by chance reaches n or we ha have completed all the transactions we cannot do further transactions it will be zero and if the tran number is modulated to equal to equal to zero that means it's a buy without any doubt it's a buy and you're going to return the max of is yes, the max of 
you either buy it so if you're buying you're losing out and you're moving to the next day and the trend number will also increase and you'll pass on the prices n and the k or else if you don't buy you take zero and you move on to the next but the trend number still like the transaction number still stays the same and you move on to the next with the same k or else you move into buy right that's where you move into sorry sell so in sell you'll be like okay if i sell it this is what i'm going to get with i'm moving to the next one and the trend number will increase by plus one with the prices n and k or i say i'll not have anything and i'll take zero plus f of index plus one trend number prices n and k that's what you can do and over here you can say return f of index of zero the total number of transactions that uh, you are looking to do is starting from zero to k so you can directly start from zero and it will go on till k number of transactions amazing and you can take on till prices n and k right and over here what you can do is you can simply run uh, the code and you'll see that it is again giving some issues let's quickly see why okay we did not open the open the if that's why so what mistake are we doing we know if uh, there are two transactions given to us we will do four so this should be two into k right so slight mistake because we can perform up till two into k transactions so be very careful about that so if you perform two into k transaction it works so if you have to memoize this what are the changing parameters index and trend number right so what i can do is vector of vector of int dp n vector of int and you know till transaction number is 2 into k comma minus 1 just make sure you just carry this off and you can easily pass on the dp and you be like fine and this is where it goes and you take and of dp and you say dp of index of tran number very simple and you can simply optimize this over here also you can memoize and over here you can write if this is not equal to minus one please feel free to return this right and if you do this uh, it should be fine uh, probably vector will not be taken hash include bits has to be declared as usual so if i declare this uh, it should run fine so you see it is running absolutely fine and now let's quickly try to submit this and see if this is working indeed it does work right now let's quickly uh, try to uh, come across to the tabulation part what the base cases uh, if you carefully see all the base cases are zero so in tabulation you start with all zeros so you don't need to explicitly write for base cases what are the variables index and transaction numbers so write two nested loops for them in opposite direction so in opposite direction will be this and the transaction number also in the opposite direction so trend number will start from will you do it for 2 into k that's a simple question obviously not because for any tran number 2 into k it will always be zero so you simply start for 2 into k minus 1 and you go on till tran number greater than equal to zero and you can go on like tran number minus minus simple and right after that what you can do is you can simply go across and copy paste this stuff that's what i generally do and over here you can say else right instead over here you will just remove it and now what will you write instead of this can i say you will be writing dp of index plus one comma what will you write tran number plus one perfect and over here dp of index plus one and tran number so just omit this and write dp of index plus one and tran number perfect so just copy paste this portion because the same thing that you will be copy pasting over here correct and just copy paste the same thing because it is again the same thing that you will be copy pasting here perfect once you have done this return dp of zero zero once you do this uh, try to run this and you will see that uh, okay it will give you a runtime error because so we are getting a runtime error so we are getting a runtime error the possible reason is because you are at index n minus one and you're trying to access index plus one so this will give you a runtime error Similarly, you are at 2k minus 1 and you're trying to access 2k. So this has to be plus 1. Just make sure you declare one extra size. And once you do this, uh, it will be running fine. It does. And I'll quickly submit this and you'll see that this is working fine as well. Indeed, it does run fine. What's the next step? 
index plus 1 i have always said whenever you see index plus 1 index plus 1 index plus 1 index plus 1 what should come to your brain space optimization yeah you are that correctly so just omit this portion and this will be the vector that will be remaining right and you can say we will have couple of these vectors one is the previous and you can just copy paste this to get one more which is the current or you can say after and current because over here it's index plus one everything will be zero so no need to worry so instead of index plus one after 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 and over here instead of dp of index curl instead of dp of index curl and over here what after equal to curl yeah perfect and over here and either after a curve whatever you write it works fine so let's quickly run this it's running uh, let's quickly now try to submit this and see if this is submitted indeed it is it is submitted so guys the space complexity in the space optimization solution is 2k which is as good as b go of k and you're using an n into k uh, 2k minus 1 loop that's n into 2k so that's the time complexity that you are using and uh, this is the solution that you should definitely give it to the interviewer right and uh, are there edge cases no this does work for everything even if yes even if uh, there are cases where uh, assume you are like assume the array is very small uh, array is very small of size 3 and k is given as 100 doesn't matter it will still perform uh, the transactions because what we are saying is on the base case we are very sure that please stop whenever it reaches n so whatever the transactions it would have performed till index equal to n will still take care of that you don't need to uh, separately handle that right so this is how you can easily solve this particular problem so guys i hope you have understood this different uh, solution to this problem so just in case you did please 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 make sure you like this video and if you're new to this channel please do consider subscribing to us and yes with this i'll be wrapping up this video let's meet in the next one till then bye bye take care Whenever your heart is broken.